welcome to rajendra tandon videos i am taking up five more shlokas of bhartri hari numbered 31 to 35 in the compilation published by rupa and company and translated by me bhartri hari a former king of ujjain in central india occupies a prominent place among the ancient poets of sanskrit literature he belonged to the eminent tradition of valmiki vyas and kalidas although his output was not very large it had a brilliant quality of thought and imagination he wrote prose as well as verse as it pleased him but all his writing is pithy compact and original in imagery there is a remarkable depth in his thinking on diverse subjects such as polity in a civilized society erotica and total renunciation bhartri hari had an admirably sharp and penetrating wit in vairagya shatakam bhartri hari talks about the life of persons at the end of the cycle on this earth that is as they age they feel weak they have to give up a lot of activity including sex but is this that's the way it is the first shloka that i am taking up today deals with this subject in quite a detail mane malaini khandite cha vasuni vyartham prayate arthini kshine bandhu jane gate parijane nashte shanai yovanai yuktam kevalam et devam suvidham sudhiyam यत जहु कन्या अपाय पूत ग्राव गिरेंद्र कंदरा दरी कुंजे निवासा क्वचित ही सेज वेन इन द कोर्स ऑफ टाइम ए मैंस प्रेस्टीज हैज डिक्लाइंड वेन ही हैज लॉस्ट हिज वेल्थ when those who seek favors at his hands go empty handed when his friends have deserted him when his family members have passed away when in course of time his youth has turned to age it is time for the wise to go and live in a cave in the himalayas in a solitary bower of creepers at a site consecrated by the pure waters of the ganges it's a very sound advice even if you want to live in your own habitation and not go to the waters of the ganges it is time to realize that a lot of activity has to come to an end that alone gives you peace of mind he makes it clear in the 32nd shloka परेशान चेतांसी प्रतिदिवस आराध्या बहुधा प्रसाद किम नेत विशसी हृदय क्लेश कलिल प्रसन्ने त्वय अंत स्वयं उदित चिंतामणी गुणे विमुक्त संकल्प किम अभिलिषित पुष्यति न ते ऑल दी टाइम आउ माई सेल्फ इज एड्रेसिंग हिम सेल्फ but that way he is addressing everybody's conscience you are trying to please others in many ways to what purpose do you suffer endlessly find your happiness in your inner self please 
underline this thought find your happiness in yourself in your inner self once that happens inner contentment like chintamani a fabulous gem supposed to satisfy all desires of its possessor inner contentment like chintamani will illuminate your thoughts you will be full of effulgence by extinguishing your desires once again i emphasize extinguishing your desires it will make sure that all your wants are fulfilled many poets writers in other countries have said the same thing t bartlett writing in english says the source of true happiness is inherent in the heart he is a fool who seeks it elsewhere robert southwell says my conscience is my crown contented thoughts my rest my heart is happy in itself my bliss is in my heart in 33 bhartri hari paints a picture of a forest where people should go and live siti punya aranye sah parichayo hant hari nahi फलई मध्यावृत्ति प्रतिदिवस अल्पानी दृषद इतीय सामग्री भवती हर भक्तिम स्पृहताम वनम वा गेहम वा सदृश उपशात एक मनसा फॉर मेन एट पीस विद दम सेल्स हु रिजाइड इन ए सीक्रेट फॉरेस्ट who have wild deer as their companions who live on fruit and vegetables who can sleep in peace on a fresh bed of stone every night who living thus sparsely worship their gods with devotion it matters not whether they reside in a home or in a forest mind you the summing up of the shloka it matters not whether they reside in a home or in a forest they will enjoy inner peace under all circumstances because they are contented great words so true you don't have to go to a nature park you can get everything in your own home but still do go for walks look at the trees plants and the flowers listen to the quail and other birds which sing early morning and worship your gods if you believe in them in 34 bhartari talks of the mortality of a human being our life he says is as transient as a drop of dew perched on a lotus leaf what an image a drop of dew perched on a lotus leaf yet for the sake of this life out of sheer ignorance what mean and despicable deeds have we left undone that is we indulge in all sorts of vile activity shamelessly we have descended to blow our trumpet in the presence of the stinking rich whose wealth has turned their heads as if they are intoxicated with wine drunk they are arrogant and so sure of themselves bhartri hari has repeatedly told his readers not to care about the haughty the rich and or the kings he says have confidence in yourself in your qualities it is your qualities which matter and he sums up in 35 very interestingly he says my age for enjoyment is over accept your age you would be happy if you accept your age time has come for giving up a lot of desires activities which you can't fulfill my age for enjoyment with charming women is long past i had enough of this pleasure as a traveler 
I am tired of wandering in this world for such a long time. I am exhausted, he says. This is the state of mind which comes to all of us. He alerts us and there lies his greatness. Bhattariyari says, therefore I have decided to settle down on the banks of the sacred Ganges. There I shall pass my ears chanting the name of Lord Shiva in a voice that will reverberate in the mountain caves around. Chanting God's name, whether it is Krishna or Shiva or Vishnu or Ram, has been found to be a source of happiness, peace, contentment, shanti, shanti, shanti. It is accepted as a part of worship. Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. You can do it sitting in your sofa. You can do it sitting in your home. You can chant wherever you are, so long as you are not disturbing others. And therein lies the peace of mind. Because a time comes when as travellers this, on this earth, we are tired of wandering in this world for such a long time. We sometimes feel it is time to go. But why not make the remaining days happy, contented and peaceful? That is the message of Bhartri Hari which I want you to carry from this video. We shall take up more next time. Thank you for your kind visit. Thank you for listening to me.